How's it going guys? Medium difficulty question, ophthalmology, step one, internal medicine, TCK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, and EHL man underscore medical. Links down below for me Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the play. 49-year-old woman, one week history of worsening vision in her right eye. She had a left renal transplant a year ago for polycystic kidney disease. <clears throat> she drinks three beers daily. Non-smoker, blood pressure 135 over 85, currently enrolled in a methadone program. Most appropriate pharmacologic therapy for this patient inhibits which the following. We have a fundoscopy here. Talk about this and move through the question. Choice A, amphotericin B, wrong fucking answer. This is a hard-hitting antifungal that's used last resort basically always. So this is going to form pores within the ergosterol membrane. It's two major use cases on US simile. Number one, cryptococcus neoformans meningitis, so CNS fungal infections, okay? And number two is going to be disseminated fungemia. So for example, if we had EG, a simple fungal pneumonia, that's it, an immunocompetent patient, we could just give oral fluconazole, okay? So most fungal infections that are not in the CNS, that uh, patients just generally receive uh, antifungal therapy for, azoles, okay, fluconazole, sporotrichosis, itraconazole, uh, topical myconazole, clotrimazole for EG, uh, tinea corporis, which is ringworm. But let's say a patient has a fungal pneumonia that leads to a fever of 103.5 with rigors and chills. That would indicate uh, fungemia, okay, disseminated fungemia, and we give hard hitting amphotericin B. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, arterial or calcium channels, wrong fucking answer. For the dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers such as nifedipine and lodipine. Obviously, these are used for hypertension uh, in US simile. It's a long discussion. There's a lot of medicine 301 level stuff. Uh, for example, if a patient does not have prediabetes, diabetes, does not have atherosclerotic disease, does not have protein in the urine, does not have an elevated renin or creatinine, we can give dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker uh, thiazide diuretic to manage hypertension. Doesn't fucking matter because the patient's normotensive. Um, we can also give dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers for Raynaud phenomenon, okay? And you need to know that uh, dihydropyridines, uh, they cause fluid retention slash peripheral edema. That side effect, exceedingly high yield, particularly for family medicine. Don't confuse a non-dihydropyridine, such as verapamil, which uh, can cause constipation. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C. CD8086, wrong fucking answer, aka B7172. This is part of co stimulatory signaling on uh, antigen presenting cells to T cells, right? So, step one's pass fail. You don't have to worry about garbage, okay? But when you have an MHC uh, T cell receptor interaction, you have a co stimulatory signal where you have CD8086, aka uh, B7172, on the antigen presenting cell interacting with CD28 on the T cell. Abatacept is a drug that can knock this out. Never fucking seen it assessed. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, DNA polymerase inhibitor. Correct answer. So Gancyclovir, okay? So this is CMV retinitis. So we have blurry vision in a patient who's in the methadone program. Well, what's methadone for? It's to help people uh, get over their addiction to opioids as well as heroin. So the implication is that this patient might be an IV drug user, holy shit. And then on top of it, the history of renal transplant is how this patient presumably acquired CMV. You need to know that cytomegalovirus is the most common organism transmitted via uh, blood transfusions as well as organ transplants, okay? Another variation of this question, for instance, they could tell you a patient had a renal transplant six months ago, now has worsening renal function, Biopsy of the kidney shows intranuclear inclusions. Answer is gancyclovir therapy. They fucking love that for CMV. You need to know that CMV can cause intranuclear inclusions. Okay, it has an owl eye appearance under light microscopy, okay? So gancyclovir, CMV retinitis, blurry vision in an AIDS patient, okay? HIV, HIV plus blurry vision. You wanna think of CMV retinitis till proven otherwise. And uh, you just got to be on top of these things as far as methadone implying IV drug use and uh, renal transplant or blood transfusion in the history uh, could imply uh, CMV transmission. So you can also know that resistance to gancyclovir 
could occur via alter absent viral thymidine kinase. Real quick, uh, VEGF, wrong fucking answer. Uh, Bevacizumab could be used for wet macular degeneration, neovascular macular degeneration. Okay, so truthfully low yield for USMLA. I mean, you learn about different conditions, age-related macular degeneration, neovascular macular, macular degeneration, uh, also related to diabetes as an example, and you can give uh, vascular endothelial growth factor inhibitors such as Bevacizumab. Never fucking seen it assessed, okay? It's just textbook nonsense. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.